सहना सहनो भुन सह वीकवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेषावह ओ शातिशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णमुद्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाद पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त चैतन्यं सर्वगम सर्व सर्वूतगुहाशय यत्षयातीत तस्म सर्वे नम In the verse sixteen, we are told, "Kalpyo pad bhi re vai tat bhinnam gyanam anekadha." We know very well that in dream, gyanam consciousness is one. In the waking state, it looks like the gyanam is different, like ghata gyanam, pata gyanam, matha gyanam. as the object of knowledge changes looks like the knowledge also changes so one may think that the knowledge is also changing therefore to understand the nature of knowledge here we mean the vritti gnanam like the knowledge of tree knowledge of pot knowledge of cloth etc to understand that the teacher draws our attention to the experience of dream within dream we know that all there is is consciousness one knowledge in dream also that knowledge appears to be changing as in waking state but we know that that change cannot be real that change is apparent change something changes therefore the knowledge of consciousness also appears to be changing and to explain that the dream example of a crystal is given how we know that crystal is colorless transparent does not change and still on account of some color substance that is placed beside the crystal crystal appears to be changing and so so in the dream the change in consciousness that appears to be is because of the mind basically that's the upadhi therefore the waking state also it looks like the knowledge is changing but the primary meaning of knowledge is consciousness gnanam that same gnanam consciousness appears as vritti gnana with ghatakar vritti patakar vritti part knowledge cloth knowledge is because of part and cloth vele upadhis then a part creates an appearance of partness in consciousness 
the cloth which is object of consciousness creates an appearance of clothness in consciousness. So it looks like the previous knowledge was part knowledge, characterized by partness. Following knowledge is characterized by clothness. That partness, clothness, etc. do not belong to consciousness. They are called upadhi. They create an appearance like the color substance creates an appearance of color in the crystal. Similarly, also in the waking state, Jagratasya tatha veda jnanasya asya vikalpita. So, jnana means only one that is consciousness in the primary sense. In the secondary sense, we vritti jnanam, gata karavati, gata jnanam, part knowledge, we call knowledge. In a secondary sense, and then that knowledge appears to be also changing, not because the knowledge of consciousness changes. The objects ghatapata are changing, therefore, vikalpitaha, the change that appears in knowledge of consciousness, like ghatatvam, padatvam, partness, clothness, because they are projected upon consciousness, the partness of the part is projected upon consciousness and consciousness is thought to be characterized by classness, partness. So the example of dream here is very well utilized to explain the waking state. Buddhistam Vyakarotyartam Bhrantya Trishnod Bhavakriya. Well, this has become, this is cleared consciousness or Atma does not change. Then why do we experience change in our own self? Why do I think that there is something within me and without me? So in the internal world of my thoughts, feelings, etc. And an external world of the objects and, you know, objects, feelings, thoughts. So explaining that now. Buddhistam Vyakarotyartam Bhrantya Buddhistam Artham. Artham the object, like people, like trees, like the world, appears out there. In, buddhi, in reality, it is only in buddhi, as in dream also, in the waking also, we say that in the waking also, the situation is not technically significantly different from the dream. Therefore, what is all in buddhi? Bhrantya buddhistam artham vyakaroti by bhranti, by abhiveka, by not recognizing that I am the witness of buddhi, I am not the buddhi. My bhranti, abhiveka, by that indiscrimination or mixing up, lumping together, I identify with the buddhi and that what is the buddhi, I think it is mine or I. Svatma gatataya kalpayana. So in the buddhi, the whole world is there. Internal world, external world is all in the buddhi, and I think that is all in me. Within me, without me. So this within and without the concepts that I have in the waking state, I had them in the dream state also. So the teacher says that in the waking also, this notion, uh, these are notions and not reality, all within and without it, all in the buddhi. And by identifying the buddhi, I think that there is a world within me and a world without me. Avidya pratyavastha vidantah karana prina avasthaam avasayana What it is, buddhi, antah karana, mind, 
which constantly changes its nature, its state, avastha. So basically, antahkaranam or buddhi itself is a product of ignorance. Avidya, prastipasthapita. Antahkaranam, inner organ, the mind, which is the product of ignorance. Parinama, that mind undergoes change, transformation. Ghatatvam, patatvam. Avastam, avabhasayan. So object is in that mind, which is a product of, product of ignorance. Atma, the conscious, eliminates that. Eliminates gata, pata, matha, etc., what all there is in mind, which is a product of ignorance. Tat abhivekat, but not recognizing the distinction between the illuminator and the illuminator. The day when these objects are evident, I am the eliminator of those objects, internal objects, external objects. They all are in the mind, not in me. That Viveka, I mean, that distinction is not recognized. And therefore, Anegaru Prapancham Atmani Kalpayana. All those things are imagined to be within me. I am divided as I am here within. There is a world without. So the waking state we suffer from this division of within and without. What is without is without. I am not that. They are not I. What is within is different from what is without. Trishnod Bhakriya. Swapne tadvat prabodeyo vaischantas tathaivacha. So what is the dream is also same, similar set up in the waking state. Vaischantaha. Waking also bahi external, internal. So dream example is given to explain the waking. The waking example is given. In waking now the teacher gives example. Oh, what is written on a piece of paper? Alekya, you write something, Om Namo Narayanaya. You decide, Om Namo Narayanaya. But how did you write the Om Namo Narayana? How did you write in the paper? Because you decide that in the mind. Om Namo Narayana, and then you write in the paper. And while you are writing in the paper, you are also reciting in the mind, because mind follows. A parallel activity is going on. Mind also keeps on saying things that are out there. What is out there is what the mind is saying, what the mind is saying is what is out there. Alekya Adhyayane Adhyayanam Reciting, chanting, knowing is within. Alekhanam, writing is without. Although in fact it is one. And the tikakara goes to the extent of saying that. The sound has no attribute at all. That sound is then said, Om Namo Narayanaya. So sound is now made, given attributes by superimposing that upon the sound. Upon the attribute of the sound, these forms are superimposed first and then written. So, anyonya apekshatvena. What is written depends upon what is decided. What is decided depends upon what is written. Aikya adhyanayo avastutvam. Alekya, what is written, is not independent. What is decided in the mind is not independent of what is decided in the mind. And what is decided in the mind is not independent of what is written there. Therefore, avastutva is not real. That vyavara itself is not real. 
See, what is out there was real then, that what is out there should be appreciated independently. What is out there I cannot appreciate without the consideration. It is from the standpoint of what, I, what there is something within. And what is within, namely chanting or recital, cannot be appreciated as within without first branding what is out there. You brand something as out there and then say this within. Brand something that is within, brand outside. Navastu Sanidhi. Buddhinishtam Bhrantya Trishnod Bhakriya. How Bhranti means Aviveka, means identifying with what I am not. They were taking that buddhi and the objects as I, taking them as real outside there. I am confined within. So feeling a sense of lack. And therefore, whenever I come in contact with what I think is outside, that outside automatically creates a lack that I am not that. That's called outside. In every interaction that I have with anybody, that interaction is accompanied by this conclusion that I am not that. I am not what that is, what this person is. I don't know what that person has, etc., etc. A sense of lack or want is created. Trishna. Yada I am kalpayet vidam tat kamaha sanya. So when I relate to something other than myself, what is thought to be other than myself? Self is no dimension, that way it is all inclusive. But because of identification with buddhi, and buddhi is supposedly within, therefore I think I am within, I am limited. So whatever I interact with is without, and that creates a sense of lack or want. Yada ayam kalpayet bhedam tat kamaha sanyatha kratuhu. Moment bheda is projected, the kamana arises because with bheda arises a sense of want or lack. So kamana, desire to become free from the lack arises immediately. But I cannot accept a lacking I. A lacking I, a wanting I is not acceptable to me. So I want to become free from the lacking I and that only can be done when lack is given up and that can be done when I get something which I, th I don't have. See how that works. Basically I am uncomfortable with the lacking I. And the lack I think is created by this entity. Therefore I will become free from lack. If I think that by acquiring that entity I become free from lack, then there is a desire and then therefore a resolve to acquire. If by getting rid of something I think I will become free from lack, I want to get rid of it. Tat kamasthan tatha kratuhu, then kratu resolve arises that I should do this to become free from a given lack, a lack arises. So lack is of different nature. See, lack of money, lack of this, lack of that. So every lack requires a special thing to be done. So therefore, idam aham sadeshe, I will become free from the lack of money, become free from lack of whatever, prestige, respect, discomfort, disease. So different lack creates a different sankalpaarik resolve for a given karma which I think will remove that lack. Yat kamaha tat kratur bhutva kratam yat tat prapadyade A lack creates a desire, specific desire. Lack results into specific desire. The specific desire is only a specific resolve to do a given thing. Result in a specific action. 
a specific outcome and thus I become the recipient of outcome which creates another lack and that's how the process goes on. Therefore, now continuing, we only saw Tadavata dusha yasmat sushupte na chagru hyate avidya prahum saru tasmat idam atas tasmadam jagat asat tasmadam jagat all the jagat is only perceived in the waking and dream, not in the deep sleep state. Therefore, the entire jagat is sat, unreal, avidya, prabhuvam, it is born of ignorance. Ignorance of the true nature of myself, that I am whole, complete, all-inclusive, not lacking at all. not knowing that essential nature of myself, that lack I take to be real, really be, lack may be somewhere, which is superimposed on I, and then I conclude I am lacking. And from there the whole series of karma, karma cause effect starts. Mithya, jnana, vijram, vidam, that has created the whole world. The whole world is the product of my karma. Add up your karma. If it is karma, you are the whole universe. Avidya, Prabhuam, Saravam, all of this is project, projected by ignorance, clear ignorance. Asat, therefore it is unreal. Inithya. So from all of these we come to this understanding. That universe is mithya and the product of avidya ignorance. Meaning that ignorance is the primary problem. Ignorance creates not only mithya world, but also creates the notion of reality about that world. If I know mithya is mithya, there is no problem. I know there is mirage water, no problem. What is this mirage water? And I take it to be real water, that is where the problem is. That is how the now the cause of entire samsara, the the chain of karma, karma phala, and success, failure, satisfaction, dissatisfaction, raga, dvesha, all of the samsara is traced to avidya. Tarhi Jagat Dehtuhu Avidya Kidrushi. What's the nature of Avidya ignorance which is the cause of this Jagat or universe or samsara? Tan Nivartika Vidya Va Kidrushi. Avidya is ignorance, darkness can be only dispelled by Avidya which is of the nature of knowledge. What's the nature of knowledge? Kena Va Vidya Vidya Gnayate. How do you know what is ignorance and what is knowledge? First I should know ignorance is ignorance. That's what the problem is. I don't know this is ignorance. To call Raga Dvesha, I don't know. I know Raga Dvesha, I should not enter in it, but I, that when something arises in my mind, this is called Raga Dvesha, I should know that. So also I should know what is ignorance and what is knowledge to understand what I should do, what should I get rid of and what should I acquire. Iti akanksha maha vidya vidya iti. So when the akanksha is there, the answer is given in verse 21. Vidya vidya shruti prokte Ekatva nyade yauhina Tasmat sarva prayatnena Shastre vidya vidhiyate Vidya avidya shuri prokte Dvandva samas that vidya and avidya are explained by Shuri herself. Yegatva 
अन्य ध्येय ही ना है एकत्र ध्वी अन्यत अन्यत्व ही ध्येय the knowledge understanding that एकत्व all there is is one is called vidya and this thinking that these things are different from me and if the anyatva is avidya. So Shastra itself explains what is vidya and avidya. Tasmat sarap prayatnena Shastra vidya vidya that is the reason why vidya Shastra vidya de vidya is is prescribed, enjoined, prescribed in the Shastra. Atma varad dashtavya. He maitri, Atma must be known. Sah vijignasiravya, that must be also known, understood. The Shastra says, Atma must be known, vidhiyate. And also tells us, Sarva Prayatna in a Shastra also makes all Prayatna to help us how to gain that Vidya. That doesn't say Atma or Dashtavya, Atma must be known, immediately known, but Shrotavya, Mantavya, Nididhyasiravya. Atma must be Shrotavya, listen to, reflected upon. Meditated upon. Shanto, Danto, Parataha, Titikshu, Sadhavito, Bhutva, Atmani, Atmanam, Pashadi. Further, how Shanti, Danti, Uparati, Sadha, Samadhanam. So, all of this also is enjoined, or you know, the means are also given by Shruti. Sarva Prayatnena, Shruti also makes all the effort, not only in enjoining or prescribing Vidya, but also educates us in what is necessary for that Vidya to take place. Shruti does all of that. So Tika says, Ikatvanya Deo Vidya Vidya. Ekatvanya dheo vidya vidya comes from the shloka. What is ekatva dhi? So ekatva anya, ekatva anya dheo. Which case? Saptami? Vidya vidya. Prathama dual. So, Brahmatma ekatva dihi vidya, tad bheda dihi avidya. Ekatva dihi means what? Brahmatma ekatva dihi. The oneness of Brahma and Atma, that knowledge is called vidya. Tad bheda dihi avidya. Like Brahman to be different from Atma, Atma different is bheda dihi, that is called vidya. It is Sarupokti. This is a nature. Sarup is nature of avidya and vidya. Shruti prokte. This is dual all along. So vidya, vidya, shruti prokte. Both of them are in fact illumined, revealed by Shruti herself. Iti jnapa kokti. How do you know? This is Sarupa ukti. The Sarupa of avidya is ekatvadhi, surupa avidya is anyatvadhi, this is the surupa who tells us. Shruti prokti is jnapa kokti, one who enables us to know who, who tells us this is Shruti. Where do you find that? Asayo nyan devatam upasate anyosavu nyohamiti avidya sutra. In that the avidya is described as anyam devatam. This is there anyadhi, that's all, this much is quoted. Yonyam devatam apasada anyosa anyohamasti. Vanu, 
worships Devata, thinking that Devata is different, I am different. Nasaveda, Pashuveda. So that ignorance is described there. Shutya, Vedadiya, Avidyatvam. Loka Anavasiddha, Ved Anuvada, Rupa, Devoktam. The Avidya is well known to everybody, but we may not be able to recognize in what in what thoughts or conclusions we are entertaining? What is that conclusion that is called avidya? We have many conclusions of which. What conclusion is avidya? Anyo so anyo hamasmiti. That devata is different, I am different. Nasaveda, the surupa avidya. Shrita bheda diya avidya atvam lokanava siddha bheda anuvadur patay uktam. So this Bhedadhi is, is experienced by everybody. So Lokanava Siddha. Everybody experiences the duality that you are different, I am different. So what is well known to everybody is brought to our attention. Look, that is Avidya. To think that he or she is different, I am different. And which we think, that is called Avidya, understand. Lokanava Siddha Bheda Anuvada. The Veda that is Anubhavasiddha experienced by everybody. Anubhava reiterating, bringing that to our attention. Hey, this is a Vidya in your life. What is Vidya? No, Vidya is not known to everybody, to anybody. There, there was a whole, there was a preface, there introduction, you know. Kimutat Brahma Aveti Tapeksha Puraha Purasaram. In Buddha and Gopanishad, in one, four, ten, and before that, in fact, one, four, nine, exactly, one, four, nine. Kimutat Brahma Veda. Hey, what is that Brahma new? Kimutat Brahma Veda. What is it that that Brahma new? By which it became all. The question that the Brahmanas asking among each other, among themselves. What is it that Brahman knew by virtue of it, Brahman became everything? And says, Brahma va idamagrasi tadatmanam evavit. What is that Brahman knew by virtue of which knowledge it became everything? He says, tadatmanam evavit. Brahman knew his, its own self. Did Brahman know something other than itself by virtue of which it became everything? Or Brahman knew itself? Brahman knew itself? Atman Vivavet? Aham Brahma Asmiri. Brahman knows that I came to know that I am Brahman. Now, this is a very strange thing. Brahma va idamagrasi. This Mumukshu who is sitting in front of the teacher is Brahman. Even when he entered his notion that I am a jiva, he is Brahman. And therefore, then by the teaching, then Tadatmanam he came to know his true nature of his own self. Am Brahma, I am Brahmaniti, that's how he came to know himself. Tasmat, Tatsarama, by virtue of the knowledge, he became everything. So, question that the Brahmanas are asking among each other is what is it that that Brahman knew by virtue of his knowledge, it became everything? He knew his own self as Brahman. Answer was given. So this is how the nature of Vidya is revealed by Upanishad. It's not common knowledge. Avidya is common knowledge. Or what is common knowledge explains is what Avidya is. Idiparvutta Pramanabhuta Aprasiddhartha Bodhini Shruti Agnyata Gnyapakam Pramanam Pramanam is that which makes us know what is unknown. So my eyes enables me to know this is red color which is otherwise unknown to me because there is no other way to know the redness or color other than eyes. So until this flower, until the eyes came in contact with the flower, until that the color of flower is not known. Anadigatam. 
because flower cannot be perceived by ears and by skin and by taste and touch. Unknown by other means of knowledge, when flower, eyes came in contact with flower, then the unknown color is made to know. So, prasiddhartha or agnyata gnyapakam. For it is not known otherwise, the pramanam is that which makes me know. So, also Shruti makes me know what is my knowledge which is otherwise unknown to me. I know what avidya is, at least, or they can explain you what avidya is, how it pervades my whole life. But I don't know what vidya is, therefore I have to make me, the Shruti has to make me see what vidya is. Ekatva jnanasya vidyatma jnapayati. When it comes to avidya, Shruti only, Shruti only has to draw. Our attention to what we already think, say this thinking is called avidya. When it comes to vidya, then vidya is not matter of our experience, so Shruti will say, they, if you experience this, that is called vidya. Ekatva jnanasya vidyatvam bodhet vignyatvam jnapayati naha nam asmakam. That's how the Shruti makes us understand, see the knowledge of oneness as Vidya. Tasmat Saraprayatnena Shastrana Vidya Shrutya Vidya Vidhiyate Because Vidya is not known to us. The nature of knowledge of non dual is not known to us and cannot be known to us in any way. For uh, helping us to understand non-duality, Shruti alone is Pramana. So whatever Pramana means of knowledge we have, the perception, inference, etc., they can never make us know non-duality, that I am all these that I am perceiving, that can never happen, can never occur to me. There was Shruti, recognizes that Vidya is something quite uncommon, unknown, unimagined, unrecognized. Therefore, Shruti makes a lot of effort. Not only this statement, in many, many statements in Upanishads, makes a lot of effort to help us understand what Vidya is. Because something quite unknown, anadigatam, this non-duality is not known to me and cannot be known. I will never suspect also that my conclusion of duality is wrong. No, I would not con- suspect. The Shruti has to make me see, hey, this is wrong conclusion. Yasmat avidya vidya lokas loka anuva siddha anabhavati Because knowledge is not something that is Recognized by people as people recognize ignorance. Tasmat sarpratnena, therefore, by all the efforts, adhyarupa, apavada, prabandha, nirmanena, shastra nirmanena. So, Shruti adopts a specific prakriya called adhyarupa apavada. Prakriya means explain what is going on. What is going on is Adhyaropa, recognize Adhyaropa. So Shruti first makes us understand how the Jagat that I am experiencing as different from myself is a superimposition. How the sense of smallness I am experiencing myself also is superimposition. Therefore, the duality is Adhyarobitam, it is it's superimposed. That's what first Shruti enables me, makes me understand. Then I am ready to drop it. I am ready to drop something when I realize, hey, this is my mistake, this is a wrong understanding, then I am willing to drop it. So first the Shruti makes me understand that the world out there is real. And they were different from me. I am different from the world. All of these conclusions, they are born of giving reality to something that is not real. 
Nothing is out there. I mean, there's nothing that is separate from I. I is consciousness, we cannot separate anything from consciousness. Something becomes the object of consciousness or object of awareness. Well, awareness pervades that. I cannot see you unless my awareness pervades you. I cannot see the sky, stars, anything unless awareness pervades. Thus there is nothing apart from awareness. It is not so. If it is so, I would never know. So right now what I know is, is within awareness. What I do not know also is awareness is not known. There is nothing apart from awareness. A lot of things are apart from ego, yeah, which I think I am. But if I knew the true nature of myself, there is nothing apart from awareness that is brought to my attention. No such thing is out there, no such thing is different. So Adhyaropa, which can be negated, negate that. So by Adhyaropa, Apavada, Prabandha, Nirmayana, Therefore, Adhyaropavada, Prabandha. This whole process of Adhyaropa, Apavada is elaborately constructed by Shruti. Sadeva Somme, Idamagrasit, Ekamevadvityam tadaikshata bahusyam prayaya tat teja asrujata So therefore the Adhyarupa process is explained that, that that Brahman thought that may I become many and that created the element fire. Adhyarupa is explained. Then Apvadi explained. See the three colors here, all the your know, names and forms are three colors and three colors are only the, what is the, uh, what is black is not nothing but white, is nothing but red, is nothing but Brahman, so Father. In Chandogya very clearly, Adhyarupa, Apavada, Prakriya is explained. So Sudhi wants to get length to help us understand what is projected, what is Kriya Mithya. It helps us understand how to do the Pada. Vidya Vidyade Pradipadyade Vidhi. That's how Suti takes all, makes all the effort. So Vidya is something unknown to us, therefore, to help us understand the nature of Vidya, Suti goes to great length, in fact, by constructing this. Prakriya or the method of Adhyarova Pavada to help us understand the true nature of the Self. Iti Mukshu Shastra 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 Taha Tat Paro Bhaved Ityartaha. Therefore, Tat Paro Bhaved Vidya Paro Bhaved Therefore, Mukshu must be devoted, committed to knowledge. Shastra Taha. Not in his own simple, in, in, in the, as revealed by the Shastra, the Mumukshu should be devoted, committed to the knowledge by the method by which the Shruti reveals that. <coughs> Not independently. Shastra chet saraprayatnena vidya vitpyadyate. From what you say, Shastra is only devoted to revealing the Nature of knowledge and method of gaining that knowledge, both Shastra is devoted to. Sort of prayatna. No? The prayatna is the nature of revealing the nature of knowledge, revealing the method by which that knowledge can be gained. Kimitari Sarvopi Shastra is not Prabhata, then why is it that everybody, we don't find everybody engaged in study and contemplation of scripture, why not? Pravartamanava katham vidyam na prapno. Then we find many, many also studying the Shastra and still they don't get the knowledge. What's the reason? Manushyanam sahasreshu kasid yatati siddha. Among thousands there is one rare one that even 
is devoted to Shastra. Yadadam Siddharam, Kashinma, and of those thousands, only one, some rare one knows me. Why is it so? Tyapekshayam, Chitta Shuddhi Abhavad. One simple thing that everybody should know, that first priority is Chitta Shuddhi. That's what the teacher also wants to emphasize, emphasizing here. Chitta Shuddhi Abhava, unless we are constantly striving for the purification of our own mind for our own benefit. Not justifying what I am and what I do because somebody, something, you know, what does it matter? I have to look at myself. How am I? I'm, I'm allowing impurities, I'm justifying my own impurity, that's how we are behaving. Recognize impurity, the mind is impurity. And strive to get rid of that. Apeksham chitta suddhya bhava adhyaviparityaha That the primary problem that one does not engage in shastra also because that the desire for engaging shastra does not arise in an impure mind. And after engaging also the, the knowledge that Shastra doesn't take place also because of impurities, impurities are many levels. With gross level impurity, one doesn't have any interest in Shastra at all. But after some, some purity of mind that is an interest in Shastra, then also is there impurity is there that Shastra doesn't bless you? Tasma saraprayatnena. Therefore, chitta shuddhi kartavya iti shesha. Therefore, the verse 22 says, Chitte shada shabad yasma. Shuddhe vidya prakashate. Yamay nitya isha yajna isha. Tapo vistasya shodhanam. So tasma chitta shuddhi karta vyayati shesha. Chitte hi adashavad yasma shuddhe vidya prakashade tasma chitta shuddhi kartavya. That's how the vakya is. This is the yasma therefore. Chitte hi adashavad yasma. Because chitte hi only in the mind vidya prakashate that the knowledge shines in the mind only. When Adarshavat, as my face shines or revealed in, this, in the mirror, so also knowledge is revealed in the mind. Therefore, the Tigat Tasma Chitta Shuddhi Kartavya. Therefore, one should make one's mind clean like a mirror. So, what are the means? Or the methods of purification of mind? That question arises next. If, the apeksha, if that question arises, then this is being said. Yamaihi nityai sa yajna ischa tapo vis tasya shodhanam tasya chittasya shodhanam That chit shodhanam means purification. Cleaning up. The cleaning up act. Cleaning up of the chittam. Yamaihi, Nityaihi, Cha, Yajnaihi, Tapovihi. So that's how these are the means by which Shodhanam, the purification of the mind, is carried out. Yamaihi, Ahimsa, Brahmacharya, Asteya, Ahimsa, Satyam, Asteya, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha, Yamaha. Ahimsa Satyaste Brahmacharya Parigraha Yamaha, Yoga Shastra says. Ahimsa, non-violence. 
ಸತ್ಯ ನಾನ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ನಾನ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ನಾನ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟೌನ್ ನಿಯಮ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಶೌಚ ಸಂತೋಷ ತಪ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಣಿಧಾನ ನಿಯಮ ತೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ಶೌಚಾದಿ ನಿಯಮ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸೋ ದಿ ಟೀಕಾ ದಿ ಫುಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿಯಮ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಮೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೈರ್ ನಿಯಮ ಇಶ್ಚ ಯಮೈ ನಿತ್ಯೈರ್ ನಿಯಮ ಇಶ್ಚ ದಟ್ ಸೌ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಠ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಠ ಇಸ್ ನಿಯಮ ಯಮೈ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿಯಮ ಇಚ್ಛ ಸೊ ನಿಯಮ ಆರ್ ಶೌಚ ಸಂತೋಷ ತಪ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಣಿಧಾನ ಶೌಚ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಂತರ್ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಶೌಚ ದಿ ಶೌಚ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ವಾಯಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಶೌಚ ದ್ವಿವಿಧಂ external and internal cleanliness shaucham tapah santosha contentment tapah austerity swadhya study of scriptures or repeating the mantras ishwar pranidhanam the offering of ishwara of one's karma If yajna hi then swasna vira dharma hi. By yajna is meant the dharmas or the duties that are enjoined for a brahmachari, grihastha, vanaprastha, sanyasi. Ishwara satkrita, ishwara satkrita hi tapo bhi hi. Tapasarya performed for ishwara. so that tapasarya at the level of body at the level of mind, speech at the level of mind the tika kar will tell us tasya chittasya shodhanam karyam they are all instrumental case by this chittasya shodhanam karyam but all of this means the purification of mind must be carried out so what is tapaha say next verse is ಶಾರೀರಾಧಿತಪುರಿಯಾಧಾನೇಹವಿಶೋಷಣ ಶಾರೀರಾಧಿತಪುರಿಯಾ ಸಾಯಂ ತಪ ವಾಂಗಮಯ ತಪ ಮಾನಸಂ ತಪ ತರ ಭಗವತ ಉಕ್ತ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಸೇಸ್ ದೇವದ್ವೇ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಪೂಜನ ಶೌಚ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಚ ಶಾರೀರ ಸೊ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶಾರೀರ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ರಿಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದೇವದ್ವಿಜ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಪೂಜನ ವಶಿಂಗ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ದ್ವಿಜ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ guru and pragna the wise people so this pujanam is is part of sharira tapasya shaucham external cleanliness inner cleanliness basically external shaucham here is external cleanliness cleaning my body my clothes my surroundings everything arjavam is straight forwardness so arjavam is explained as sincerity in performing all my duties so whatever i am required to do as enjoined by the scripture sincerely doing that is called arjavam because nobody is watching me all the time anyway inside outside so there is arjavam there is honesty straightforwardness in doing what i am required to do 
ब्रह्मचर्यम इज सेलिब्रेसी अहिंसा नॉन वायलेंस एट द फिजिकल लेवल शारीरम तप उच्च इज कॉल दि तपस्या ऑस्टेरिटी कैरेड आर लेवल ऑफ बॉडी अनुद्वेक वाक्यम सत्यम प्रीहित चेत स्वाध्याय प्रसन्न चाहम तप उच्च मेकिंग शो दैट मै वर्ड डू नाट डिस्टर्ब एनी बड़ी ऐ डू नाट क्रिएट डिस्टर्बेंस इन एनी बड़ी इज बाइंड बाय मै वर्ड सत्यम दैट वॉट आई से सत्यम ट्रूथ फुल प्रियम ऑलसो इज प्लेजेंट हितम ऑलसो इज नेसेसरी so your vakya or a speech character where all these attributes is called one way is called tapasya so more than not talking talking right is tapasya maunam also is tapasya not speaking but then if you decide to speak then you have to speak make sure that your speech is characterized by these qualifications swadhyay abhyasanam chay so then what is said is not not to do then swadhyay repeating vedas or reciting patha etc abhyasanam repeating the swadhyay veda or whatever stotra etc repeating there also is the part of the speech lamin the austerity of speech mana prasada saumyatvam mora matma nigraha bhav samsudhiritya tat तपो मानस मुच्यत मन प्रसाद द प्लेजेंटनेस ऑफ द माइंड सौम्यत्व सौम्यता मीनिंग बीइंग सेंसिटिव टेलीकेट सो नॉट कमिंग आउट एज एरोगेंट और एज समथिंग रफ और यू नो बट समवन हु इज सेंसिटिव समवन हु इज Uh, what shall i say uh, sense yeah sensitive so soumyatvam very important vratam because if mind is soumya then the behavior also be soumya the words will be soumya maunam silence atma vinigraha control of self bhav samsuddhi purity of intentions so not only what i say outside is good but then my intentions also must be good that is called manasam tapa that is very important you can be very good talkers you know outside outside behavior can be very good which is good to begin with that is called shariram tapa but accompanied by good words also vachikam tapa vamangayam vamangayam tapa like my right thoughts then there is a there is a uh, harmony between the the word and the the thought and the word and the deed bhav samshuddhi that purity of intention the honesty manam tapo manas muchyate as called the manasam tapa the tapasya austerity carried out the level of mind तत्सो शारीरादि तपः कुर्यात् तद् विशुद्ध्यर्थम उत्तमम् उत्तमम् तपः कुर्यात् देन एक्सोलेटेड तपस् और ऑस्टेरिटी शुड परफॉर्म व्हाट इज दैट एतान्यपि सात्विकानि अनुष्ठेयानि लॉर्ड कृष्ण डिवाइड्स देम इनटू सात्विक राजस्थामस सो ओनली तपस् अरे आल्सो शुड बी सात्विक न राजस्थामसानि तत् सात्विक तपो लक्षण लॉर्ड कृष्ण गिव्स वट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द सात्विक तप श्रद्धया पया तप्त तपस्तत्विधम नर ही श्रद्धया दिस श्रद्धा दैट वेन आई परफॉर्म तपस्या इन दिस वे दैट विल ब्लेस मी दैट वेन आई डू तपस्या देर आर बॉडी स्पीच माइंड ऑल ब्लेस मी बाय अंता का शुद्धि बाय नॉलेज आई एक्वायर ग्रेस ऑफ ईश्वर श्रद्धा इज दैट तपस्तत्विधम न रहे ही बिकॉज वेन यू डू ऑल दिस देन इट्स गुड इन्वॉल्व 
effort, exertion, even pain also. But I have to keep under check my natural impulses to do. Tapasarya means the natural impulses are there which make me say something, or say, think something, behave some way. Means I keep that under check, I can't perform the tapasarya. And that involves pain because I think I should do, you know, my mind wants to do something, I do not love it to do. So therefore, when, when am I willing to undertake that pain? Only when I know that that pain is going to help me, not hurt me. That pain is purifying pain. That is when I am willing to also undergo this, the exertion, the pain, at the physical level, mental level, with Shraddha, that it is going to bless me. Shraddha paraya taptam. Paraya Shraddha is that I don't get disheartened when I don't get the results. When we do something, there is always an expectation of some kind of reward when it does not come. I get disappointed. Paraya Shraddha taptam Shraddha. I know that this has to be so. Whether the outcome, result comes or not, I know that this is the right way to do. So I do it. Leave to Ishvara to give me the outcome. Tapasthatra vidham narahi, the threefold tapasarya is performed with this shraddha. This is enjoined by Bhagavan. It is enjoined for mantaka and shuddhi, enjoined as a means of knowledge, enjoined as a blessing to me, and to bless my life. Afala kaang shebehi. When I perform the tapas, I am not obliging anybody. I am obliging myself. See, phala kaangsha, the desire for or the expectation of reward comes when I feel I am obliging others. So I must be obliged. There must be a reward for what I am doing. This is natural. I mean, in every human being, nothing wrong, <coughs> unusual. Unfortunately, that keeps me in samsara. That expectation keeps me in samsara. Because expectation will create ragadvesha. Fulfilled and expectation will increase. Not fulfilled, expectation will create dvesha. Afala kaangshibihi yuktaihi. Yuktaihi. Those who have self-control, those who have focused mind, by them, so yukte both with focused mind, with recognizing that I do not need the reward because that will take away my punya. When I perform this tapasya, etc., creates punya. If there is done with the expectation of reward, the reward takes away that punya. Therefore, I don't. There is no net gain from that exertion. There is no net gain. If I do it with desire or kamana, phala, phala kaṅkṣa, aphala kaṅkṣa bhi yuktaihi, those yuktaihi, those with focused concentration of the mind, without expectation of phala. This is all difficult, by the way, but that's why we are told to do it. It's easy, there's nobody will have to need to tell us. Sattvikam, that is called tapasarya, where this kind of pain happens. The mind resists, revolts, doesn't want to do, wants to justify. I will keep on working with the mind. Not be hard with the mind either, but be gentle with the mind also. Soumyat means gentleness, that is what I was trying to, you know. Manap prasa soumyatvam, gentleness in my behavior, is also part of the tapasarya. Gentleness in the mind, there is no gentleness in the words, there is no gentleness in the behavior. The gentleness the behavior cannot go too long. If it is not accompanied with gentleness, then it will come out in the words. And then come out in the, the thoughts also. Yuktehi. So all of these are kept in mind. Satvikam parichakshare. So this Saitava Uttamam perform this tapasarya, sattvik tapasarya. 
मनादि समुद्ध्यार्थम उत्तम तद विशुद्ध्यार्थम मीन्स वॉट चित्त विशुद्ध्यार्थम फॉर विशुद्ध्यार्थम फॉर प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ माइंड मन आदि समाधान तत्देह विशोषण मन आदि समाधान आदिपदा बाह्य सामधान फोकस कॉन्सट्रेशन सेल्फ कंट्रोल ऑफ माइंड एज वेल एज सेंस ऑर्गन ऑफ एक्शन एंड एंड परसेप्शन समाधान नैशल्यम तत्देह विशोषण तत्र 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 मीन्स तत्र 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 तत्मान इन इन शरीर इन वाचि इन मन मन एट दिस लेवल समाधान निश्चल्य निश्चल तेषु तेषु ऋतुषु देह विशोषण एन तपस्या देह विशोषण इन ऑल्सो इज दैर इन डिफरेंट ऋतु डिफरेंट विशोषण शीतोष्ण वर्षवाद सहन है न इन विंटर यू नो सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेल्फ टू सफरिंग फ्रॉम कोल्ड इन उष्णता सफर द हीट इन वर्षा सफर द रेन इन वाता सफर द वाता और द ब्रीज और दिविंद सहन है न कृषि करणम यण वी इनक्लूज अवर सर्व इन सेफ इनक्लोजर सो वी प्रोटेक्ट अवर सर्व इज ऑल दैट आई एम नॉट सजेस्टिंग बट इन द ओल्ड एंड डेज दैट इन हैव दैट सो वी वर लिविंग विद नेचर एंड देयर वर दिस ऑल दिस नेचुरल फोर्सेस वन हैड टू पुट अप विद इत्यर्थ है ओके ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओ शान्ते 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 शंकरं शंकराचार्यं केशवं बालरायणं सूत्रभाष्यकृतौ वन्दे भगवन्तौ पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेरे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओ शाते शाति शाति हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम